हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई एम उजस्ता वर्मा सो इन टूडेज टॉपिक आई टॉक अबाउट द मैसेज मैपिंग एंड शो यू वन डेमो हाउ टू यूज इट सो लेट्स जस्ट फर्स्ट सी वाई वी यूज मैसेज मैपिंग सो सपोज इन द सेंडर सिस्टम यू हैव अ पेलोड स्ट्रक्चर विद एम्प्लॉय आई डी एंड इन द रिसीवर यू हैव टू सेंड इट इन दिफरेंट स्ट्रक्चर Suppose uh, we have to convert the employee ID into the employee number. So there, message mapping can be used, and you can also add some extra structure to it as well. We'll see that in the demo session. So the next point is message mapping is just like uh, coding, but without the syntax. It has all the simple functions like. Uh, arithmetic operators date operators etc and message mapping is also called graphical mapping and the most important thing is the uh, message mapping can be used only with the xml structure so if your payload structure is in different format like json or csv etc you have to first convert it into the xml and then only you can use the message mapping third point is Uh, if the message mapping is too complicated for your scenario, so after so for that you can go uh, for uh, groovy mapping if it doesn't help you. So remember that. So now let's take a scenario, an example, and we'll solve that in the session. So I'm what I'm thinking is I'll uh, give a shot to a work anniversary scenario. So. what i am thinking is the payload will come in the xml format and it will contain a employee detail and date of joining so what i'll do is i'll uh, map with a structure and i'll just uh, put some uh, simple functions and i'll compare the date of joining with the current date and i'll then uh, send that value in the another tag which i will make in the output se section in the output xsd so that's how i am planning to do it so let's solve it so starting with the i flow i don't require sender and receiver so i'll delete them next i'll add a content modifier where i'll put my input my xml input and i'll add a message mapping so so first i'll write the xml input so here i have the data in the xml format Here you can see I have employee details, employee name, date of joining, employee email, employee department. So I'll copy paste it in the message body. Next I'll copy a uh, employee's detail. i have to create the xsd so here i'll paste it so first i'll create the input xsd so i'll generate the schema and here i have my xsd so i'll copy this in the notepad and save it in the xsd format i'll give it the name as employee input dot xsd next i have to create the output xsd so for that i'll add a, a tag in the xml data
so this will be date of joining value and I'll give some random text over here because I want a string and not the boolean value over here. So next I'll uh, again save this xsd as the employee output dot xsd. So next I'll go back to my cloud integration my iFlow and I'll go to the message mapping and I'll create one so here I'll give the name of the mapping as employee date of joining so in the source message I'll add the input one input xsd so it has some error so here you can see i have given the space from the bot uh, top so i'll just remove this space and then i'll again add the source message And I have added the target as well as the employee output so here you can see it has the red mark because we haven't mapped it yet so I'll map each field and I'll map the last one with the employee date of joining and I'll do some functions So here you can see it is mapped over here so I'll just delete them here you can see we have lots of functions over here so we can use any of them so first I'll go with the date I want the current date and I'll just compare it with the employee date of joining if if it is matching with the current date so it will return true otherwise it will return false. So first I'll just go with the current date. So here uh, sometimes what happens is uh, the format is not correct for the date. Here I have given the date month and year. So I'll just compare it. So here you can see I have only one record which has today's date so that should come over here so first i'll need to transform the date format so for that i'll use this function date trans so in the in date format we have seen i have given the date month and then the year so according to that i'll write over here as well If you have given slash then write slash in the in date otherwise write uh, whatever you have given dash or slash whatever so here I'll just compare it with the e uh, numbers so for that I'll use the equal numbers in the arithmetic function so date of joining will be my number one and current date will be my number two so for so i'll change the current date format as well because these are the numbers and i don't need year because i have to compare only date and month because it will be the work anniversary so we don't need year so i'll just remove year from here as well as i'll 
I'll remove the slash so that will become our number so it will be easy to compare these two number you can also use the compare dates as well you can try that just because I have to show how arithmetic also work that's why I'm using the equals number over here so this is done let's simulate it So here you can see only the first data is shown in the output and the rest are not. So that's because we have any error in the XSD. So I'll go back to my XSD and add some code over there. This time I am giving two outputs for the current date. So this should show me the two of them should be the true. So we have to add the minimum occurrence and the max occurrence in the tag which is occurring multiple times that is the employee tag. So I'll add this and you have to do the same in the employee output XSD as well. So the max occur should be unbounded and the minimum occur occurrence should be zero you have to write the same code in your xsd So let's simulate it once again. So here you can see I am getting the desired output. The first two data have the true value in the date of joining value and the rest are the false one. So this is how you can do the message mapping. So now further what you can do is you can filter out the date of joining value as true and next you can send a mail to those candidates to those employees as a work anniversary mail and I have uh, added a video over on that how to add attachment in the mail and how to add mail adapter so you can check out that videos as well. So guys, thank you for watching my channel and if you like the video, do subscribe to my channel and share the video as well. Thank you so much.